and thank you for staying with us. Over the years, plenty of Oscar nominees wanting to mark the career milestone have brought their moms as their plus ones to the ceremony. Well, is she the type of date least likely to ditch you at the after party? And the nominees are, our Chris Connolly has a story. What's better than being an Oscar nominee? Bringing your mom to the Oscars. Just ask Maestro nominees Bradley Cooper and Carey Mulligan. What is that like? For me, my mother is the same no matter where she is. So it was hilarious to just watch her in that room. I remember sort of trying to declaw her hand from Richard Gere when she saw him. Really? Yeah, because she was so excited. And I was like, it took me a second. And like the, the commercial break was over and I was trying to pull her hand off his. Because she was just, <laughs> yeah, it was nuts. Bradley, straight ahead of you. Cooper's brought his mother Gloria numerous times. Mulligan brought her mother Nano when she was nominated back in 2010 for an education. I wouldn't be able to do my job really without my mum in all the ways that she's given so much of herself in the last 20 years to support me. But since I've had kids, like, it actually wouldn't be possible without her. So yeah, that's pretty special. Noms with moms revved up in 1998 when Matt Damon and Ben Affleck brought theirs and thanked them after a best screenplay win for Goodwill Hunting. My mother John, John and Matt's mother, the most beautiful women here. Common and Ryan Gosling, Janelle Monet, and Taraji P. Henson, and Anne Hathaway, all walking the Academy Award red carpet with their moms. Halle Berry and Monsters Day. And if your name is called while your mother's in the house, it can make for an unforgettable Oscar moment. I want to thank my mom who's giving me the strength to fight every single day to be who I want to be. From 2002, Monsters Ball's Halle Berry and her mom, Judith Ann Hawkins. The monsters, Charlie Theron and Mom Gerda in 2004. My mom, you have sacrificed so much for me to be able to live here and make my dreams come true. And there are no words to describe how much I love you. And I'm not going to cry. Thank you. Last year, Irish actor Paul Meskel, soon to be seen in Gladiator 2, was a Best Actor nominee and took his mom, Dervla, to the Oscars as he recounted to his All of Us Strangers co-star, Andrew Scott. Gosh. I remember being on the red carpet. And I'd gotten kind of used to it at that point. And then I looked to the right, and my mum was standing at the end of the red carpet, just kind of looking at me, smiling. And yeah. I was so stressed. Everybody yeah. screaming. Looked at my mum, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, these hard. are just photos. What goes through your heart at a moment like that? It just kind of breaks in two in a good way. It's just yeah. like the, I, I, it's like. Did she have a good time? She had the best time. Did she, she like, just like dream come true so oh. yeah oh gotta love it mom has to be the plus one mine wouldn't go to the after party but yours probably would uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> my mom likes an after party <laughs> love it. and our many thanks to chris for that report and be sure to tune in sunday for all of the excitement beginning with countdown to oscars on the red carpet live one to four eastern time here on abc and one to seven streaming on abc news live with our team led by lindsey davis and Whit johnson with exclusive red carpet interviews and backstage access right before the big show followed by the Oscars at their new time of 7 p.m. Eastern. Nice. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.